Hello everyone, my name is Destin Lint and welcome back to what is actually episode 128 of my Dungeon of the Endless. Let's play beta version 0.8.7. We finally did it. We finally finished a run after um having a pretty bad history of the game being updated and crashing our save files and us not completing a run for quite some time. So that was pretty exciting. Of course it was on two easy modes, so I think I'm going to try a run on the regular easy mode now. Um, that being said, we also unlocked a new starting ship. Uh, we unlocked the infirmary. Now this is going to be a whole new bag of worms for us because with this one, heroes may ha or heroes have many more health points, cast of healing reduced or cost of healing reduced. No auto heal at end of turn. Most in-game items are replaced with drugs that provide buffs with some side effects. So that is going to be um, very, very interesting to say the very least. I'm very excited to see how this goes. Let's random up. Actually, who is there anyone? Okay, we haven't unlocked uh, Rakia Pulmoni yet as a starting character, and we haven't encountered that guy yet. Okay. Okay. So. Let's uh, random up, other than the infirmary, and on easy mode, let's see who we start off with. We start off with a couple of interesting characters. Um, we start off with Nanor and uh, Warden Mormish. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Warden Mormish, very good operator because of his high uh, wit. He starts off with 11, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So we'll light up this room, we will place down our industry generator first. He doesn't start off with, um, operate right away, which is unfortunate, but, uh, that's okay. No major module slot in there, eh? And enemies, okay, that's cool. Let's, uh, open up this door next, I guess, okay. Major module slot, that makes me feel... Oh, of course it's a endless artifact. Um, so, one thing I really want to try and aim for this run is auto dock shards as soon as possible because, of course, we won't have the out of combat healing that we are normally used to. Um, let's start getting. What was it? Uh, science? Food. We'll get food up and running. And we. We really need to um, start finding A, more dust, and B, another major module slot room. Uh, I would probably want to try and aim for Food Replicator 3, if possible. Not sure if that's going to be in the cards for us, but we'll try. Open up that door. Oh, not a major module slot room, of course. But enough dust to light up another room. Um, okay, so we'll light up that room. Let's go over here, see if there's a major module slot in there. If so, then we'll probably use that for... Oh my god, are you serious? But almost more than enough uh, science to do what... Uh, to get us a step closer to getting that food replicator up and going. Okay, this is just crazy now. Um... I'm a fan of the science, but other than that, that this is just getting out of my hand. Um, uh, huh, um, honestly, I'm a little bit baffled that we haven't encountered another major module slot room yet. Like, that is just kind of ridiculous. Anyways, um, not like as if we could afford to use one right away anyways, even if we found one. Okay. So let's uh, get people going down here. Um, I hope we get at least one dust. That would be nice. Uh, we should probably level you up and probably level... Whoop! Did not want to close that. Level you up as well. Okay. Actually, what we could do right now is uh, activate and activate. That way we get guaranteed dust for the next few uh, mob kills, okay. or at least almost guaranteed. 
uh, just for the next few mob kills and we'll just destroy those guys luckily we got enough to light up uh, or yeah enough to light up this room so we can place that down uh, okay we've opened up eight doors already uh, do I dare wait to see if I can get the food replicator up and running or do I just go with one of these other things I would much rather get the food replicator, so let's see if we can do that. I'm kind of confident in our ability to do so. Oh, we are low on supplies. Okay. Probably the last time I'm going to do that. Just out of necessity. And... I'm not going to spend any more food. Okay, um... You know, I... I think it should be possible for us to uh, do the things that we want to do. Place another three in there. Start making our way down here because, yeah, sure enough, enemy waves are incoming. And I'm not a huge fan of the number of waves coming at us. Sure, not necessarily all too dangerous of enemies, but. Uh, Enemies nonetheless. Okay, there's one dust. Uh, another. Okay. Uh, we just need two more rooms and then we can start researching Food Replicator 3. That actually feels uh, really good. So let's go up here. I th think I have as many defenses down as I feel comfortable placing down. Because I'm not sure how many more doors I'm going to have. Okay, uh, we're going to have actually a fair number more of rooms. Uh, let's lay up that one. Start making our way down here. No other enemy waves approaching. That's uh, another bit of relief for me at least. Those guys are gonna get attacked a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Actually did a surprising amount more damage than I thought it would. And shouldn't take too long to take care of these guys, I would hope. Ugh, such slow attack speeds. I need m more combat-oriented characters, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you can go down there, just so I don't have anything spawning in there. I don't want to. And let's open up another door, like this one. Yeah, that one. Food Replicator 3 this early on it is going to be a quite a significant bonus. Mormish, you can go into there, actually. You can go there. You can start up the research on the food replicator. And then you can make your way into here. Yeah. We'll do it like that. And then those things will get attacked a good little bit. So wish my people were a bit stronger, but that's okay. Food is going to be a very important resource until I get auto dock shards. A very, very important resource. Um, okay, so the both of you can go up here, but Nanor, you can uh, go into here and open up this door first. Okay, okay. If we're lucky, we might be able to get two things of uh, research done on this floor, if we're lucky. Now. You have a lot of items that I am kind of digging. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Since when did I have items? Attack power, 25, speed, negative 5. Uh, defense, 30, attack power, negative 10. Attack power, negative 10, speed, 8. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, okay. So what is your weakest stat right now? Defense, attack, and speed was it? Okay. Mormish could be a little bit faster, but then he would lose 10, at 10 attack power. That is a lot to lose for a little bit of speed. But you know what they say about Sonic, you gotta go fast. Um, 
defense and negative attack power or negative speed and more attack power. You know what? I'm gonna do this. To compensate. And those sell for nine each. That is kinda crazy. But for the time being, I think what I'm going to do is you are gonna get the rapier. Sure it's one less room I can have lit up. But I think this is much more important. Uh, so that's DPS 10, DPS 9. I can't remember if the nail gun actually makes the melee range. I, I'm afraid to... I'm just going to be safe and go with the pea shooter. Okay, so you, I would like to try and keep you alive if possible, and let's see if we can research something else on this floor. My guess is probably not, but okay, that's the exit. Um, so we have one more door before that's finished researching. Let's see if we get uh, one more door. We do get one more door, so in theory we could research one more thing. In theory. Okay, so you two are going to make your way down here. Oh my god, that is a lot of those guys. A lot of those guys. Luckily nothing's attacking the uh, shopkeeper though. Ugh. Okay, I might activate both of their abilities here real quick. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, oh, did not mean to bring the drop-down menu. Not. Um, not really getting a whole lot of dust here. Even though, in theory, I should be. Okay, that wasn't as profitable as I thought it would be. Uh, test fuel generator, prisoner pro 2, viral injector, oh, so many good options, but I think if I was going to go for one thing, I think it would be dust fuel generator. That seems like something I kind of desperately need for this run. Uh, go up there, see what we have, man, he is actually surprisingly fast. And if we're not going to find another party member on this floor, I may as well level these guys up before I leave. Uh, toothpick. I'll probably just sell that unless I find the. Wow, we actually have more rooms. And a lot more enemies. Okay. That's interesting. Uh. Okay, so we'll just go into there. Okay. So Mormish. Kind of powerful for his current level. 56 DPS. And Mormish. Why is he at 37 now? Oh, because of his passive, right. Okay, that's why. I was wondering. Seems a little bit off there. Surprised we also have uh, 15, 16 rooms on the first floor. That's just a little bit crazy there. That's the end of that floor. You go in there. Yeah, I'm still holding up hopes that we might find another party member before the end of this floor. Maybe. Highly unlikely, but uh, you never know. Actually, before you open up that door, maybe Mormis should cut off the exit over here so it's just one less wave spawning over here. And one less that this guy would have to run through. This field generator unlocked, and just more enemies, of course. So you're going to make your way down there, and no other wave spawn. Okay. It's actually pretty good for me, because that means I can just... Well, other than the fact that it's that much less uh, resources that I'm going to be getting, like dust to light up rooms, but that, you know what, I'm okay with that. So things to do before we leave this floor. See what we could research on the next floor, so we can kind of plan ahead for that kind of stuff. Man, he is just wrecking enemies. 
Okay. Okay. How do I want to do some things here? So those are gonna get slightly wrecked. Not too badly though. Okay. I can't believe I got like no dust there. Marmish, uh, check out what we could get from research on the next floor. Uh, probably tactical head is what I would go for. And let's go up here. Um, sell the toothpick. Oh, that is the options menu. Sorry about that. And then what do we have here? Guard uniform, prisoner uniform. Not overly thrilled about either of these options, but um, they're options nonetheless. <sighs> Guard uniform, more defense, HP, and less speed by a little bit. Probably more mish. Yeah, more mish. We'll get that. And then we'll power down one room. Probably that one. Give. This guy, the prisoner uniform. There we go. We'll level you up. We'll level you up. And then... We'll... Heal right before we leave the floor. And I'd hate to say this, but I... Wait, what? Holy crap, I didn't realize how much more health that they would have. Wow, that is kind of ridiculous. Um... Okay, so right now 28 speed, 26 speed. Uh, I, I never thought I would say this, but I think Mormish is the better option for running the crystal to the exit. Words I thought I would never, ever say. Okay, so light up that room. Any other rooms I can afford to power down? Not really, by a whole lot. What I can afford to do, though, is uh, place down, like... One, 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 two, 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 one, two. Okay, that's all I'm going to be spending for that. You, pick up the crystal. Make our way out of here. Sucks that we don't have any other party members, but uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh my god, he's so slow. Like, so incredibly slow. Okay, so we have one wave spawning in back there. You're gonna have to be our front line. Oh my god, Mormish, please. Mormish, please. Could you not be so slow? Okay, make our way up here. Okay, just, just have to survive one more room. One more room, and then, uh, yeah, I'll heal and heal. There we go. We're sitting pretty good for the next floor, other than our resources, but, um, that can be, hopefully, settled. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this very, uh, different, uh, r run for... Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, if you made it to this point of the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot and shows that you want to continue watching this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always click the link in the description to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content, whether it's of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always everyone, have a good one and I will see you next time.